Hi. Welcome back to this video tutorial of Adriatech Engineering Solutions. This tutorial is on how to create a fastener's bill of materials in Creo Parametric. This will help you in creating a bomb table that exclusively lists only the fasteners in your assembly. For the training I have taken this worm gearbox assembly created in Creo Parametric. You can see that there are a lot of fasteners assembled, including, bolts, nuts, dowels, screws and more. Please note that these are assembled from the Creo Parametrics Intelligent Fastness Library. Let me move to the corresponding detail drawing to see how to create the fasteners bomb. Here we have a completed table for your understanding. As you see, the table lists, only the fasteners, and not the other assembly components. Let me now insert a similar blank table, that I have already saved in my directory with, just only the headers. Now I have the blank table, which shall be used to demonstrate the procedures. Of course, we are going to use a repeat region to do this. The last row shall become my repeat region, to which, the report symbols shall be added. You may switch symbols and ensure this red box that helps us ensure proper definition of, the repeat region. Double click, on the repeat region cell to add the report symbol. For the index column, report.index, and for the quantity, report.quantity. For the description, I'm adding the usual symbol, assembly.member.name, and see what happens once updated. As expected, we have the component names listed, but, the table is listing the entire components in the assembly, that we have taken. Let me also set the no duplicates attribute, to update the quantity. Done, but this is not what we want. So let's do a small change to the symbol we added. Double click on the cell again, to add the required symbol, assembly, dot, member, dot, user defined. Here, enter the parameter name, naming and assembly dot member dot user defined and enter the parameter name buw underscore type and assembly dot member dot user defined and enter the parameter name buw underscore size then switch symbols and update table if necessary now we have the desired report table, that lists, only the fasteners in the assembly. To understand the logic, let's have a look at the components in the assembly. Let's open one of the components part model and have a look at its parameters list. We just have the usual parameters. Now. Let's do the same with the fastener part. We could notice, the parameters that, we just used on our repeat region symbols. And, this is what makes the report possible. Hope this video was of some use to you, see you soon on another such useful video. Please like, comment and subscribe to the channel for quick updates, see you.